It's literally 96 degrees outside, and therefore it is still summer. Stop saying it's fall. In suburbia, you can get cases of lollipop. I had a completely different job then, was at a completely different stage of life. The coworker by Freedom McFadden and The end result, I feel like it looks so good. Good morning, you guys. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. If you're not new, welcome back. Do you guys recognize this background? I'm officially back in Virginia from Charleston for the entire week. I leave next Sunday. So I decided to start like a little home vlog for you guys because I know you guys love the Virginia content and you miss the Virginia content and I love filming it. So I decided to take you guys through. I don't know if it's going to be a few days or a week or whatnot, but I just decided to pick up the camera and vlog. It is Monday, aka Labor Day, and we have zero plans today. We just got back from Charleston last night. We were in Charleston for like an entire weekend. Friday or I was Thursday night through Sunday. Mackenzie was Friday through Sunday. So we're taking it easy today. It's probably gonna be a good pool day because it's supposed to be like 96 degrees outside in Virginia. I don't know who came up with the rule this year that like fall is way earlier than it actually should be, but it's not fall yet. It's literally 96 degrees outside and therefore it is still summer. Stop saying it's fall. That's my hot take for the day. I'm over people saying it's fall. Um, I love fall, don't get me wrong, but I just don't like making seasons earlier than they need to be, if that makes any sense. Like, I think that everything should happen when it needs to happen. There was no reason, this is such a hot take, so you might come for me in the comments, but it is what it is. I just don't think there's a reason for Starbucks to release the fall drink earlier and earlier every year. It's probably like revenue related and they can make more money if they release them earlier, but I just feel like that means that we start fall earlier, but like we aren't really starting fall because it's still hot outside. That's my hot take of the day. Don't even know where that just came from, but I'm just saying it's 96 degrees here and I'm gonna have a pool day and soak up the last days of summer because it's still hot outside. We're getting ready to go get some groceries from Wegmans and I need a coffee and then we'll see what we get up to today. But welcome back to the channel. Also, if you're new, I don't normally start vlogs this way. <laughs> this is my hometown, Virginia. I live in Northern Virginia. I've lived here since my freshman year of high school, so this is where I call home. But I live in like the Jersey City, New York City area. So this is a very unique once every few months vlog, but normally you guys get the New York City, Jersey City vlogs. So welcome to it. Awesome. Guys, look. In suburbia, you can get cases of Olipop. This is like all I need in life, a case of Olipop. So good. We got pretzel bread. Oh, Mackenzie got Hawaiian rolls. We got wheat bread for my sandwiches. We got a pepper for tacos tonight. Nola for my breakfast. Onion for tacos. Raspberries. These are the biggest raspberries I've ever seen in my life. Please look at how big these are. I don't even know if the camera can pick up on the fact that that is literally the size of my entire thumb. Bananas, strawberries, and in the next bag, we have a big jug of milk. That's like my favorite thing to do. What? We're stocked up for a Oh, we got ground turkey for tacos, espresso, Nespresso pods. Say oh. that 10 times fast. Man. Before, you didn't even open the fridge? No, before I left though, I knew I was like, oh, we'll have to get milk when we come back because- When does that one expire? September 15th and that one does too. That was my fault. You're gonna be drinking a lot of milk in the next two weeks. Taco shells, Nutri-Valley bars. I'm gonna try this oat milk because they didn't have my normal one. Pray for me because I'm really picky about my oat milk. We got ham and turkey for lunches. My favorite yogurt. Siggies, do you know the deal? Just like John for real. Why are you doing that way? Just second. Got things to do. Yo play yogurt and taco seasoning. And that's our grocery haul. I love being able to go to a grocery store, use a cart, bring it to my car, put it in the car, and then bring the bags in from the car instead of having to either walk or like subway to get groceries. There's just something about grocery shopping at home. Oh, oops. All right, I think, like I mentioned earlier, it's gonna be a pool day, so I need to 
take the pumps off of the pool, I think, is what I was being told. It's literally 88 degrees here already, and it's only 10.30 in the morning. That is crazy. <laughs> I was told to take this off last night and I did not listen, so that's my own fault, but hopefully it cools down. All right, I'm getting ready to lay outside by the pool. Kini of the day is from Kulani, because I love Kulani. And I'm gonna try to get rid of these tan lines because they have got to go. Tuesday. I'm making a little latte. I'm trying the new oat milk from Wegmans. I'm a little bit scared. Um, yep, the color is a little sus. I don't like when oat milk is this color. So I'm just praying that the rest of the latte ends up good. Okay, I feel like I can now properly talk to the camera. I'm taking over my sister's room while she's at work because she has a desk. She's a teacher, so she'll be out of here until at least like probably four o'clock anyways so i figured i might as well take over her room this week as my little office this is what i used to do when she was at school in alabama and i was living at home so it's a little bit nostalgic to be back in here i had a completely different job then was at a completely different stage of life so it's fun to be back here in this space i spent like literally all day yesterday at the pool i know i didn't really update the vlog that much later on in the afternoon but I laid out there for a little bit, then came back inside, laid on the couch and watched YouTube with my sister, and then went for a run outside, made tacos for dinner for everyone, and literally fell asleep before nine o'clock. I went to lay down in my bed to finish the book that I was reading and fell asleep with the Kindle in my hand. I literally like woke up with the Kindle in my hand at 9.30, still on the page that I was on. Just decided that I needed to just like turn off my light and go to bed. So I had an early night last night, but as a result, I ended up waking up at like 7.30 this morning. My body just like naturally woke me up, which was really nice. So I've been up for a little bit. I'm getting started on work. I am working this week, despite the fact that I'm home. I feel like I always do this. I just work during the week. When I visit Virginia, I like don't take time off because everyone else is working anyways. So like there's really, no point of me taking vacation days so i'm chilling working i want to try to book a workout class for later today there aren't that many class pass options in my hometown because they're more like boutique classes i feel like we do have f45 and a few other places but they're not on class pass here and i'm not really sure why it's just not the way that class pass is set up i guess i thought that if you put a chain on class pass the chain was like available everywhere, but I guess not. So I would literally have to call to like get a membership for the week or do like a free trial or something like that. So I don't know what I'll end up doing, but I'm probably just going to book like Pure Bar or maybe I'm seeing like a cycling class. That could be fun. I don't know. I'll take a peek, but it's going to be a pretty chill week. So I hope you enjoy the chill Virginia content because we don't have too much planned, but I am excited to be home and I'm excited to just like hang out this week. So I just wanted to pick up the camera this morning and say happy Tuesday and that's about it. <laughs> it's after work now, it's 5.17. I booked a Club Pilates class for my local Club Pilates in Gainesville. I don't have a membership with them, but I just booked like the one-time class thing. It was like $35. Not the cheapest thing to be booking, but I like couldn't find a class pass workout that I really wanted to do, and I just love Club Pilates, and I figured $35 like isn't going to kill me if I just do it like once this week, although I may do it again on Thursday with my mom, so it might be a twice situation, but... 
I just pulled up. I came a little bit early just because I didn't know what the deal was with the parking or like where exactly it was. I knew the general area, but this is like new as of I think a few months ago. So I like didn't grow up having the club Pilates in this area. So I just like wasn't exactly sure. So I wanted to get here just a little bit early. I'm probably gonna go in in like three minutes to make sure I don't have to sign any waivers or anything like that and then go from there. I am also sweating. I turned off the AC to vlog this and it's literally 100 degrees in here. Look at what my car is registering. Virginia, are we okay? That is wild. Back from Pilates. Pilates was good. So interesting going to like the same classes that I go to in the city and like a very suburban area because it's definitely like a little bit of an older crowd, specifically in my hometown. So when I go to the classes in Jersey City, it's like a lot of people my age or maybe a little bit older, but a lot of them were like my parents age which there's nothing wrong with that but i like to compare the differences between the different locations of club pilates and like my other workout classes it was overall a very good workout the instructor knew what she was doing she also gave like a lot of modifications to the class if you had injuries and stuff like that which is always nice so overall it was decent i ran to target after to get more dry shampoo this is my favorite brand i have not heard great things about it in regards to i think they were like i don't think there was a recall on it but i think some people were saying like some of the chemicals in this aren't like backed by science or something but it works for me so i'm going to continue to use it because i feel like it's hard for me to find hair products that i actually like and actually work for my hair so to target I'm back here i'm gonna take a shower and then i think we're gonna do chicken for dinner my dad is grilling currently i also want to finish my book i have like 30 minutes left of the new freedom mcfadden book the co-worker i don't really know how i feel about it i'm waiting for like one more big plot twist to happen to see if i can change my mind on like what i think about it but i don't think it's my favorite freedom book that i've ever read stay tuned because i'll end up talking about it tomorrow if i end up finishing it tonight hello you guys happy wednesday it's already 1.17 in the afternoon and I have not picked up the vlog at all today. I've just been a working girl. I had meetings pretty much back to back starting at 10.30 this morning and it's now 1 o'clock and I'm not even finished with my meetings for the day but I have like a large gap between now and 4.30 and then I have my last call at 4.30. So I have a little bit of a meeting break. Just like do other administrative tasks, but also just like to chill out. I feel like meetings drain me so fast because I have to be like on camera, I have to be paying attention, listening to people talk for several hours. I just feel like being in back-to-back -back meetings is what drains me during my workday. When I don't have back-to-back -back meetings, I notice a difference. I notice like I have more energy throughout the day and don't feel as drained at the end of the day. I don't know if that's just a me thing or if that is a universal thing but that is where we're at today so i haven't picked up the camera at all because i've been working in the whole nine yards but i wanted to pick up the camera and say happy wednesday i wanted to give you guys a little book update because i did finish my book last night i was reading the co-worker by frida mcfadden and this is a book that she just recently released I think end of August, like August 28th or something like that. It's a Kindle Unlimited book. All of her books are Kindle Unlimited. So if you're interested in like a thriller mystery author, I would highly recommend her books. Maybe not this one though, because I ended up giving it like a 2.75 out of 5 stars. It just was not for me. I feel like all the twists were kind of like predictable in a way and I wasn't shocked when the twists happened. I feel like that's how I rate my thriller books, like shockability. If my jaw is literally open on the floor and I'm making a gasping noise out loud, then it's a five star read. If I have literally zero reaction to a thriller book, it's anywhere between a two and probably a three. Like it's probably not gonna go above the 3.5 range, that's for sure. So that was kind of like my reaction to this book. It was about, I don't really know how to explain it. I'm so bad at explaining books and I feel like honestly at the end of the day it's just easier for me to read you guys the back of the book rather than making up my own summary of the book because I'm also most likely to give away spoilers by making up my own version. So let's read the back of this book. Two women, an office filled with secrets, one terrible crime that can't be taken back. Don Schiff is strange. At least everyone thinks so at Vicks, the nutritional supplement company where Don works as an accountant. She never says the right thing, she has no friends, and she's always at her desk at precisely 8.45am. 
So when Dawn doesn't show up to the office one morning, her coworker Natalie Farrell, beautiful, popular, top sales rep, five years running, is surprised. Then she receives an unsettling anonymous phone call that changes everything. It turns out Dawn wasn't just an awkward outsider, she has been targeted by someone else. And now Natalie is irrevocably tied to Dawn as she finds herself caught in a twisted game of cat and mouse that leaves her wondering who's the real victim. But one thing is incredibly clear, somebody hated Dawn Schiff enough to kill. And I just think that the plot kind of like fell a little flat for me personally. So that's that. That was like a very long-winded book review. All right, it's after work. I'm downstairs in our little gym. I'm gonna do either a bike or a treadmill workout on the Peloton. I haven't decided yet. I need to look at what classes are available and then it'll be a game time decision. My workout set today is just Lululemon biker shorts. These are the six inch aligns, Nike sports bra, Hoka's of course, and then Apple Watch. Excited for a good workout. what is up happy thursday i'm getting ready to go lay out by the pool on my lunch break i have like an hour and it's supposed to rain saturday and sunday so i feel like today and tomorrow are kind of my last days to soak up the virginia sun before i head back to gloomy new jersey so i'm gonna go lay out by the pool enjoy some vitamin d probably read a little bit i also might just like work outside for the rest of the day depending on how hot it is i'm gonna bring my work laptop out there and just kind of Feel the vibes, but I really haven't laid at the pool all week since Monday, and I just want to get some good pool time in before I leave on Sunday. So, just wanted to pick up the vlog, say happy Thursday. I almost said good morning, but it is very much so the afternoon. Like 45 minutes since I finished my work day and I came out here to read for a little bit. I didn't feel like working out today. My lower back has been hurting a little bit. I don't know if it was from my run yesterday or like how I slept in my bed last night, but I just figured that I would take it easy. So I'm out here reading. I was in the hammock earlier, but the sun was literally like fully beating down the hammock and I was legitimately sweating. So I just dipped my feet in the pool. I'm currently reading The Brothers Hawthorne by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is the fourth book in the Inheritance Game series. It's interesting. I feel like I wish that I hadn't taken a break from the series or like I wish this book came out sooner or I had delayed reading the first three books until this one came out because now I just feel like I'm kind of like disconnected from the characters a little bit. I still like her writing style and it's like a very easy read. I don't know if you can tell but the words are like massive. So even though it's like a 400 page book, I feel like I'm reading it pretty fast because the chapters are literally like three pages and the words are pretty big. So that's what I'm up to this evening. I think my mom's cooking steaks for dinner and then my sister and I are going to go get ice cream after. So it's a fairly chill night. Also football is back so I'm sure we'll watch like the first NFL game of the season. And yeah, that's about it. This is 
literally I feel like all I do when I'm home is like read, hang out by the pool, get ice cream, hang out with my parents. It's a very chill week in my life if you guys can't tell. Alright, hello you guys. I'm getting ready to go get my hair done. I'm gonna get it colored and I'm also getting it cut because I feel like it needs a good fresh cut. I'm nervous, I've never been to this girl before, but my old hairstylist in Virginia follows her on Instagram and then I also like was looking at her Instagram page and I like her work, so I think it should be fine. But I'm also nervous because I just feel like I've had some bad experiences with hair people lately. Like the last person that did my hair, they liked the way that he cut my hair, but I did not like the way that he dyed my hair. I just feel like my hair has grown out really weird, like kind of like not naturally. Like there's like a straight line and it was like not the color that I wanted. And I'm too much of a weenie to speak up when it comes to people's profession. Like. I can stand up for myself in any other situation, but it, when it comes to someone like messing up my hair, I just feel like I don't have the right to correct them, you know what I mean? Because this is literally like their art in a way, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that makes any sense, but when it comes to my hair, I just feel like I can't like really speak up for myself for what I want. So I'm going to this new person. I think it should be fine. It's also like significantly cheaper to just like get my hair done in Virginia. So I figured I might as well see someone while I'm home. So fingers crossed that it all turns out I'm just doing like blonde balayage for the color and then I'm gonna do long layers with face framing which is what I always get done. It should be fine. I I just have to hope that it's gonna be fine. I ordered Starbucks to pick up and then I'm gonna go sit in the hair salon for literally three hours. So stay tuned for the after results. Okay, this is the end result. I feel like it looks so good. It's exactly what I asked for and exactly the picture that I showed her, I also feel like the length is really good. My hair was just getting like way too long before. So overall, I'm very happy with it. And I think I found my new hair girl to come to when I'm home. I really am so obsessed with the way that my hair turned out. I just feel like more myself. My hair was not giving for a while there. I just don't like the way that the other guy did it. We're getting ready to go out to dinner at Sweetwater in Centerville. And I'm currently wearing jean shorts and this t-shirt. I can't tell if I just want to vibe with this or if I should change into a different tee. Although I think that almost all of my shirts are dirty. Like I waited till the very last minute to do laundry. And all of like my good tees that I brought because I didn't bring that many are in the wash I think. Honestly we might just be rocking with the Land Rover shirt, jean shorts, and some Birkenstocks, but you know, it's not really a fancy place anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's a good place to put the camera. I don't know if the mic's getting covered, so my bad if it is. I'm gonna do a little bit of light makeup because I feel like it kind of wore off when I was sitting in the hair chair for three hours. And not that I need to put a ton of makeup on to go out to dinner with my family, but I just feel like sometimes a little bit of mascara and a little bit of concealer goes a very long way. You know what I mean?